What's up, YouTube? Merry Christmas. Hope you guys are having a great new year. A couple updates on the Prusa. So, as you can see, we completed a Grinch. And what's even more amazing is it was a 21 hour print. And we did it on extruder number one. So there's been a couple of updates on this. <coughs> one, we replaced that buddy board last uh, last week or 10 days ago or something like that. And um, we were still having the same issue. But after replacing that buddy board, the issue followed Toolhead 1. So when we moved Toolhead 1 to Toolhead 3, um, it it started acting up on Toolhead 3 alone. Um, and Toolhead 1 was working again. So we switched them back. And we actually reprinted. I'm going to pop this thing off here. So, you got your plug up here. We reprinted that. We got the focus. Maybe. Right there. So we got the print file um, off printables. We reprinted it. And from what I understand, um, from what guys are saying on the forum, they have actually up upgraded this print and made it a little bit tighter so we undid it we checked out the wiring harness down there and uh, basically re-pushed all the wires back in really snug made sure it was extra tight and then reprinted the wire cover or whatever you want to call that um, secured it and ran a couple of test prints and they came out successful <clears throat> so the new theory on this is um, that the connection right here, when it is getting picked up by the tool changer, it jars these wires a little bit. So it comes in there, it pops it out, and goes. And it's getting a little bit jarred. And when it does that, if it, there's any movement in this wire, it is um, obviously not, not connecting with the dwarf board in that extruder and stopping the extrusion gear from, from turning on that. Uh, why it was carrying over to the other ones, um, and or why it was staying with board one, even when we switched tool heads before, I don't know if uh, it caused an issue or shorted something on the buddy board that we replaced. And so if, if changing out that buddy board um, then was causing the issue just with this tool changer again, where this little connection up here was a little bit loose. So we re-secured it and uh, ran a couple of prints. And the longest print we ran was last night. We did this Grinch mask um, in our nice lime green filament. <coughs> and it came out great. So with that being said, we uh, have reached out to Bruce to ask him exactly what they want us to do now. They still want to see this thing and uh, do some more diagnostics, or if they're going to take the information that we're going to send them and, and work with that. But that just so happens that we figured and got this up and running. That happened to to get up and running after we received the return box from Prusa that just came in yesterday. So ideally. If we don't have to rebox this thing up, tear it down, and, and pi package it up and get it sent off, that would be awesome if this stays. So we've got a couple of other long prints we want to do, see if this fix um, is permanent, if it's temporary, if there's just something else going on with the wiring. But anybody else that's having issues, strongly recommend reprinting the wire secure... Uh, little pet G part up here um, we only had pet G for it so uh, if if we need you know a stronger filament we'll order it but that's just what we had on file or on hand not on file um, but that's that's where we're at so if you guys run into that issue make sure this connection is super snug um, we did push that wire protector all the way down this uh, gosh man this camera's having a hard time focusing 
we did push it all the way back down onto the connector itself and then re-bolted on the PETG part and re-snugged everything up. And we've done four prints now successfully. Three prints that were under an hour, one that was right at an hour. And then we kind of went for, went for broke and did this one that was just over 21 hours. So we will continue to update as this progresses. Thanks for tuning in.